the sleeping Indian of West Arvada. I've seen this growing up most of my life. Um, it's a rock formation where you kind of got the guy's nose and eyebrow, chin, belly. Kind of looks like a, an Indian, I guess. I've always wanted to make it to the top, kind of the nose, um, because I think it's a bunch of rocks. So that's what I'm gonna go do, try to make it up there to the top. Now keep in mind, this was very spur of the moment. I didn't do any planning, I didn't look at any maps. I just drove up here with the goal of trying to make it to those boulders that make up the nose of the sleeping Indian. To my surprise, I later found out that there just really isn't any trail or trailhead that leads to those boulders. There's a fair amount of private property in the area, so I guess they just don't want people exploring, and no social trails seem to have stood the test of time. But I had to at least try and get up there. Hello. So this morning, I'm trying to get up to this sleeping Indian that I've seen kind of all my life along the front range here in the foothills. And there's no real trails to it, as you can tell. It's completely off trail and kind of borders some private property. So it'll be interesting to see if I can even make it. But I'm hoping to get up there and get some nice drone shots because I've never seen it up close. Seem to have found a road here. Not sure if this is private pop property, like a driveway. But I'll take my chances because going off trail is always kind of tricky. And that was some serious off trail. Forest is pretty dense up here. Judging by the road, there doesn't seem to be any fresh tracks, any tire marks, so I suspect this isn't really a driveway, or if it is, they don't get out much. I think it might be more of a utility road for power lines or something. So, I'm taking my chances. Hopefully I don't get caught here. Well, I think I'm getting close. I don't know if I'm coming up on a house. This is a fantastic road, but it's winding back to the north here, which is the opposite direction of where I want to go. So, what do you think? I think it's time to head off trail, even though It's quite, quite dense and pretty steep. I know there are rattlesnakes one canyon over. <laughs> so I have to be careful where I step here. 
Not to mention all the spider webs I've seen and slippery gravel on the side hill. Don't worry, that was a twig, not my leg. I'm okay. I seem to have this fence here. I got, I got caught in the fence. If I didn't know any better though, I think I'm just about here where I've always wanted to go. since being a little boy. It's a nice view up here. Yeah, it didn't take much of a hike because you can kind of drive even though there's no trailhead. Like I've said, I've just been scrambling. I'm a little worried I might run into a rattlesnake colony or something. But You only live once, as they say. So, might as well go for it here. So I'm making my way up the hill. The rocks are getting bigger, and I believe I'm like right there. I've made it, I've just about made it to the boulders that kind of make up that nose and eyebrow section of the Sleeping Indian. Later I found out that I wasn't actually quite that close. Um, it was just one ridge over, which it would be nothing to walk to. But as I get up there, my head kind of peers over the ridge and there's this giant house. And it's literally like 20 yards away. You know, if the homeowner was in his backyard, he would have been able to talk to me in like a normal voice. So unfortunately, it didn't pick up on camera, but I immediately duck and then turn around and just kind of start shuffling down the hill as fast as I can. Because, um, you know, I had no intention of invading someone's personal space or anything like that. And, uh, you know, you, you just never know, especially with mountain people. They're, they're kind of up there for a reason. You know, this, this house was huge. It was a mansion. So, obviously, they, they have it together, but... Um, like I said, they're they're up in the mountains for a reason. They want their privacy and their personal space, and uh, to have someone kind of just suddenly appear is probably not going to be welcome. So, you know, I just I try to get out of there as soon as I can, and 
you just always have that feeling when you're in a situation like that where it's like you're just waiting for at the very least the voice that crackling voice to come into your ear you know and it sounds angry and it's, hey turn around kind of a thing and obviously your mind goes to other places too it's like for all i knew shotgun pellets were going to be flying over over my head or something you know so i just i wanted to get out of there as quick as possible well that's unfortunate turns out i was in someone's yard and came up on the house just behind the rocks But I still, you know, I had my goal of trying to get up there to those boulders and with a drone, I wanted to uh, to see what it was like. So that was kind of the uh, the plan B. So I wanted to get to hang out on the rocks as much as I wanted. But I think I might still go for a quick drone flight, even though it might provoke the house dwellers. Because I'm up here, right? Now it's the race to get packed up, just in case someone is uh, not happy and is trying to track me down. 
Let's see how it goes here. All right, I'm packed up. Time to sneak out of here. I always tend to be a little braver doing stuff like this when I'm heading out because I know where I'm going now, relatively speaking. I, I don't have a GPS and there is maybe a full mile of off trail, so hopefully I can properly find my way back and do so easily, but we'll see. At least now I know I've, I've already run on to my uh, I've already run into a, a, a home. I got that out of the way, so I'm on the way back now and I can avoid it, right? Let's just hope they don't suddenly come flying down the driveway. And what a driveway it is. It's nice up here, that's for sure. Coming up on this power line here. There's a uh, nice easy marking I left myself where I came up. As you can see though, it's not exactly not exactly easy to find your way back. And it probably isn't picking up on camera, but this side hill is incredibly steep. It doesn't help when you have a heavy backpack on with a bunch of photography and drone equipment. I'm not exactly a, an expert navigator without a GPS and no Eagle Scout experience. I'm uh, just going to have to hope for the best. What do you know? I found a more direct path on the way down. Well, I made it back. Finally made it up to those rocks. I was just sad to see that there is a house up there right behind them, so you can't really play on them or explore more. But hopefully the drone footage turns out okay. Alrighty, I made it back. And it's not even 11 yet and it's super hot. I am just covered in sweat. So time to go back and get a shower, I guess. So I hope you guys enjoyed the drone footage and appreciate you watching. We'll see you in the next one. And we're back. That was a false sign off. I'm gonna try one more drone shot, we'll see. Um, I'm just across the next canyon here. I don't know what that was, bomb shelter or something? No. Anyway, this is a kind of a fun scenic road here. So I'm gonna drive up here, see if I can pull out the drone real quick and maybe get some nice bonus footage here for you.
that didn't really work out the battery on the DJI spark is just a little too short I've been getting about 12 minutes of flight time on it I think and uh, I don't know I don't think it's quite long enough so I might look into getting another battery for 50 bucks or something because 12 minutes includes when it gets low on battery it sends an alert out and kind of forces its way back to where you took off from so it's kind of frustrating so I didn't get any uh, real good footage that second time I can say for sure hopefully the first run up on the sleeping Indian turned out a little better so time to get into the editing and we'll see how it looks this time it's a real sign off thanks for watching and we'll see you next time